So let's make a clock in Blender with geometry nodes. So to lay everything in the scene and open up a second tab with the geometry node editor tab open. And let's spawn in a cube. And we don't need the mesh of this cube, so let's just delay that and spawn in a new geometry node and get rid of the group input, which was our original mesh and just use a cube node instead because we're only going to work in geometry nodes to make a one second, one minute and one hour ticker. And by manipulating the size of our cube, we can give it any look we want. Um, so let's just make the set size twice as small as the X value. Okay, now with the transform node, we can manipulate this in 3D space and on the set axis, which we want to manipulate when making a clock, or in your case, it might be Y or X, but I want to manipulate it on the set axis. So let's plug in a value node and it doesn't exactly give us the result that we want. It's actually giving all axes, uh, X, Y, and Z, the value of this node. And we only want to manipulate uh, one axis. So by using a combine X, Y, and Z, we can take this value and plug it into any of these and then plug the vector value into the rotation. And this lets us manipulate certain axes only, and in this case, only the Z axis. All right, so when I give this a value of one, it moves this way, which is the opposite or counterclockwise way. We want it to move this way actually in the negative values. So first of all, let's make this actually move every frame. And instead of using keyframes, which would be incredibly inefficient, we can give this the value of the current frame that we're on. So we're on frame one, and by using hashtag frame, it gives us the value of one. If we were on frame 60, 60. So that's how that works. And second of all, we want to work in uh, positive numbers, right? So because uh, one here rotates it counterclockwise, we want to times this or reverse it by multiplying this with minus one and let's isolate it. Okay, so second of all, another problem is the fact that we're working in degrees on this node, but when it gets inputted into anything, we're actually under the hood in Blender working in radians. And so we want to convert degrees to radians. And there's a math node for that exact action. It's called to radians. So let's convert our degrees right here into radians and plug that into the set coordinate, right? So let's end on the 360th frame and that amounts exactly to one full rotation. All right, so now we want this to rot uh, rotate once every second, and we want it to match up with what a clock in fact is. And in my scene right here, I'm on 24 frames. So because a clock is 360 degrees around, or a circle is 360, we're going to times this by 360 degrees. And we want to work, we want this to rotate every second. And so we're going to divide this up into 60 bits because there are 60 seconds on one minute. Okay, and it rotates way too fast right now. And in fact, it rotates exactly 24 times faster than it's supposed to. If I go to the frame rate right here and use a custom value and input one, we can see that it in fact works exactly like a clock. And if I give this a frame rate of two, it moves two times faster than a clock, three, three times faster and 24, 24 times faster. So we somehow have to calculate this to account for the 24 frames. And that's incredibly simple. We're just going to divide this by 24. So if you were working in uh, 60, sec uh, 60 frames per second, you have to divide by 60. All right. And I want to move this second counter like a, a um, 
like so, some some second or oh, some clocks move like this but i actually want this to move every second right so first of all this let's make this look like a second or oh, a um a A clock right so our point of origin is right here we can do that with a transform node and second of all let's only say that this value is allowed to affect the radiance when a second has passed and to do this we're going to use a, uh, a um, an option called snap and so we want to snap this by some increment and it moves still way too fast. We actually want this to move 360 divided by 60 because we're working on a clock with 60 seconds times, which amounts to six. So every six in uh, increment, it moves one time. And that's exactly how we want our clock to look like. Let's zoom out and let's say 60 uh times 60 right oh <laughs> that's actually too much let's say 60 times 24. so because we're running on 24 frames a second and we want this to display a minute that is 24 times 60 which is 1440. so this is one minute and let's make a one minute hand let's actually make this a bit bigger to display it all right, so to make a one minute hand, it's actually very simple. We just have to divide it by 60. So let's take the exact inputs of this, just copy it down here and add another math node. And this time divide this by 60 and plug this value right in here and then the value into the snap. So now we have a 60 hand and we can see that, okay, it is displayed yet. We have to join the geometry of these two. So by using a node called join geometry, we can join the geometry of this with the other one. And so after a minute has passed, our minute hand moves by one increment. And so when an hour has passed, we want to make an hour hand that also passes. And because one hour is a second divided by 60, which is one minute divided by 60, which is one hour, we just once again, copy this down here. And with a, another math node, we take the input once again and have it divided by 60. And this makes a one hour hand and let's join this up into the main. And to just symbolize that this is the one hour hand, we can make it slightly less bigger than the other ones. And so now we have a clock that's working. Awesome. And we can also make this a bit bigger to show that the hour hand moves like it should. All right, so now we've made a fully functional clock in Blender. I hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna see more tutorials, maybe an, an advanced array modifier which can array collections that are instanced uh, let me know in the comments but yeah i'm squirrel and i'll see you guys modeling